Well, for the first time, we are hearing of a drone that landed on the runway at SeaTac as the FAA has just recruited SeaTac Airport to help it develop drone technology. Our aviation specialist, Glenn Farley, joining us live from SeaTac. So, Glenn, what's the FAA saying about this and what can you tell us about this incident? Well, we can tell you quite about the incident now that it's come to light. So this is one of the drones that we fly. And as a licensed drone pilot, if I get permission, I could fly this in the vicinity of the airport in certain places, but certainly not over the airport. As a hobbyist, as an unlicensed person, you can't legally fly a drone within miles of an airport. But that's what happened in 2019. It was the day after Christmas 2019 when a special detection system on SeaTac Center runway flagged an unusual object. It was about six in the evening. It was a radio controlled drone, a small one, but had an airplane collided with it at high speed or an engine sucked it in, that could have resulted in a bad outcome. We immediately shut the runway down, went out and inspected it. It was right where the fog detection system said it was and we had the police um, pick it up. Mark Coates is SeaTac senior manager for airport operations. That drone had landed on the numbers at the north end of the often busy center runway. Police were never able to trace the owner, and since it happened the day after Christmas, that drone was likely a gift in the hands of someone who had not considered the connection between a flying model and putting a plane load of passengers and their crew in danger. It's people that don't know the rules that are flying too close to airports. SeaTac Airport applied to be part of the FAA effort to better detect drones and keep them and airliners apart. And these are the scanners that detected that drone, called FOD Detect. It would normally pick up nuts and bolts that would fall off of planes, even birds. These alert zones. SeaTac already has a second system that detects birds called avian radar. So helping out with drone detection technology seems like a natural way to go. And this would have been one more layer of safety that we could add to the safety system. Now, Coat says about five or six times a year over the last few years, pilots have reported seeing drones in the air in close proximity to airplanes. They're so small, if you can see one, it's got to be pretty close. Meanwhile, the FAA tells me there are 868,000 registered drones in the U.S. right now, that doesn't even include non-registered drones, even tiny drones like the one you saw. So there's a lot of things that are flying around now, and that's what this whole FAA initiative with SeaTac and four other airports is designed to sort out. Live at SeaTac Airport, Glenn Farley, King 5 News. Glenn, thank you.